Hey guys, a question I get asked quite a lot on my channel is how do I fly with the Evolution transmitter here when it doesn't have any trim buttons so that I can trim my quad while it's flying so it's not drifting around? And the answer I have to those people is always the same as I use, I don't use the trim buttons because I don't need them and even on the Tyrannus I don't even use them because I don't need them on the Tyrannus. I use the trim functions within the flight controller to uh, make my adjustments if I'm flying in angle mode, which is rare, not really that often. I do it sometimes for these reviews because they often come in with angle mode enabled. Uh, but if you fly acro mode most of the time or exclusively, then you don't really need to trim the accelerometer because um, the accelerometer doesn't really play a factor in self-leveling your craft in acro mode because you just uh, there's no self-leveling in acro mode. Um, so what are stick commands? Um, well, they're, they've been around forever. It's been in clean flight, I don't know, since version 1 or 1.1 1 .1 or something like that. It's been a while. And it allows you to use your transmitter sticks to uh, make adjustments to the, the level of your accelerometer. And uh, I'll show you how you do that. So there's a link in the description. Uh, we'll, I'll put a link in the description to where it uh, explains these in a little more detail. But I'm going to put up the chart here that I printed from uh, that link. And these are for uh, mode two. And there's an, another chart for mode one if you want to see that. And this shows you the various stick positions to issue uh, various these stick functions or stick commands to the flight controller to perform various uh, functions. And the ones that we're interested in here are trim accelerometer. That's these four right here. Now, a lot of people already know the um, stick commands for arm and disarm. And as you can see, uh, in mode 2 we have a left stick and a right stick. And the dot here means that you're, the, the, the stick is centered and then this little uh, where it shows the stick going to the bottom and to the right shows the way you would um, use the um, function for arming, which is you would uh, have throttle down and yaw to the right and that will arm your quad and down to the left will disarm. As you can see, that's the corresponding command over here. So if you're having uh, issues where the uh, quad is drifting a little bit to the right or a little bit to the left, then you can trim it using these commands over here. And to do so, you would have the, for example, if it's drifting to the right, you would issue the trim left command. The left stick has to be up, and then you would push the uh, right stick to the left. And so let me demonstrate that. It would be like this, and then you would just push it over like that. And as you can see, for all of the accelerometer commands, the left stick is going to be straight up. So you can see right there. And then you're going to issue the different commands for left, right, forward, and backwards. So you can see it goes to the left, to the right, forward is up, and backwards is down. So left, right, forward and backwards. So you would issue the command opposite of the way it's going. So if it's going to the left, you would uh, issue it a uh, command to the right. Now, when you plug it in, I'm sorry, so now when you plug in your quad, and if you have a, a buzzer, you'll, it'll make a noise when you do that. And I'll demonstrate this um, in a, uh, a little bit later here with what the sounds uh, are and also the flight board will uh, flash to indicate that you're issuing commands. And then every time you would do that, it would give you so many clicks of trim and it would beep each time. You can hold it and it'll keep beeping and it'll just keep as if you're, as if you're uh, uh, just trimming it more and more. So usually um, if it's a very mild drift, you would only need it, uh, you know, clicking over maybe three or four times. Uh, and then you would, you know, land and then uh, or take off again and test it and see if you need more or perhaps you went over and then you go in the other direction. Now the important thing to remember is after you've done your trimming, you want to make sure you save your settings. Otherwise, once you uh, uh, power off the quad, you're going to lose everything that you've just done. So to do that, it's just down and out for both sticks like that. And the quad will beep or it'll flash if you don't have a buzzer. And that will indicate to you that it's saved the uh, changes that you've made. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll uh, take my uh, 
furry bee here with my evolution and I'll uh, demonstrate that um, how this actually works. Okay, so I'm just going to show you a quick demo of how you can uh, trim your accelerometer using the stick commands. And I'm going to go ahead and I'll, I'll take it off and I'll show you if, if it's drifting and then how we can correct for that. Drifting off to the right. Okay, so it's drifting off to the right and a little bit backwards. So I'm going to trim it to the left and forwards. And so I'm just going to move my stick up. And I'm going to trim it to the left. You can hear it beeping. Two, three clicks, and two clicks up. Then I'm going to save. And rearm and try it again. It's uh, still going back a little bit. The uh, drift to the right is gone. So I'm going to trim it forwards a little bit more. Let's save. Right, let's give it another shot. Still a little bit to the back, so I'm going to trim it some more. A little bit backwards. All right, getting pretty close. So you just kind of have to keep iteratively sort of uh, seeing which way it's going. It's going to be hard to get a hundred percent where it's not going to be moving at all. Um, I think it's mostly because this is a brushed quad and it's got a lot of flex in the frame, and so it, it's going to be a little bit harder to trim these brushed ones and especially these smaller ones. But the, the bigger ones, you can get them pretty pretty spot on where they're not going to drift at all. You see I'm going forwards there. And to the left. So I think I trimmed it a little bit too much. There you go. Almost hands off there. It's throttle. Let's see if I can't at least get it holding for a few seconds. As Johnson wants to go backwards now. There's my voltage alarm. Well, that's about as good as I'm going to get it. And the uh, battery is not happy. Anyway, guys, so that's how you would trim with the flight controller. You're sending the trim commands to the flight controller and it's going to try and make those compensations to keep it level in angle mode. And as you can see, you don't need any trim buttons at all to do that. Um, it's going to be a little bit harder, tricky to get these to get them perfectly level um, just because it, it's a really flexible frame and it's brushed and small and stuff. So, uh, But it'll, it, I think it does work better on the bigger ones. Anyway guys, a uh, quick tutorial on how to trim your quad with stick commands using the Trinity Evolution. It'll also work with any radio, Tyrannus, Spectrum, uh, the i6s, 
This just means that you don't need the trim buttons to trim your quad. So if you guys are wondering how I did that, this is how you do it. I hope it helps. Let me know if you guys have any questions, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.